us here via Zoom. Please welcome, here she is, one second, there she is. Please welcome Mia Medina from No Kid Hungry Me. It's great to uh, have you here on the East Texas Now desk. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, so with something as engaging of a headline as No Kid Hungry Texas, can you give us just some backstory on uh, exactly what we're looking at? Yeah, sure. Um, backstory on what No Kid Hungry is? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah, great. So No Kid Hungry is a nonprofit campaign that's dedicated to ending childhood hunger. For us, that looks like working with legislators, with uh, school districts, and even nonprofit organizations to help strengthen child nutrition programs like school breakfast, uh, after school meals, and even summer meals. It's really all in service of making sure that all kids have access to three healthy meals a day every single day of the year. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. And so can you tell us a little bit about uh, just how difficult it is for uh, the average child in Texas in the transition from uh, receiving school, probably school lunch meals, into the summer months, how critical um, bridging that gap is? Sure, so, you know, in Texas, one in four kids face hunger, and we know that many of those kids rely on free and reduced price meals that they get during the school day. So when the school bell rings and they don't have access to that school breakfast, school lunch, or even after school meals, we know that those kids are really missing out, and that's why we often call summer the hungriest time of the year. Um, but luckily, you know, there are free summer meals programs that are run by school districts and nonprofit organizations all across the state that can really help us fill that gap by providing healthy meals at no cost for kids and teens at familiar places like parks, pools, libraries, and even splash pads. Wow, that's incredible. So tell us how um, No Kid Hungry, what does it mean to you? What, uh, what kind of impact have you been able to see on the ground level of kids benefiting from your resources? Yeah, absolutely. So at No Kid Hungry, we really support uh, what we call sponsors of the Summer Meals Program through uh, grants, through technical assistance and resources. And so, you know, that can look like um, supporting a school district with uh, funding so that they can get the equipment that they need to run these programs. Or perhaps, you know, they need additional funding so that they have the appropriate number of staff uh, staffing these programs as well, making sure that the food is cooked at temperature, is delicious, and, and also that the kids are enjoying themselves with activities. Definitely. Now, you mentioned uh, through different grants, through different programs. I know the 88th Texas legislator gave new investments into school meals, expanding access to uh, free school breakfast for el eligible students. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the benefits that you are seeing from this new uh, expansion? Yeah, absolutely. So us at No Kid Hungry, we actually advocated for the elimination of reduced price breakfast this legislative session. Uh, and we are really excited to see it get passed with our legislative champions like Representative Tony Rose and Representative Armando Wally. Um, we've seen, you know, there's about 70,000 kids who benefit from this across the state who, you know, uh, may live in small pockets of poverty in their communities. And so we know that uh, cost is one barrier to school meals. And so we are seeing some early indication that that's uh, really supporting some school districts who maybe aren't benefiting from community eligibility provision. Yeah, absolutely. I was taking a look at you guys' uh, social media here, just looking at what the latest you guys are doing. Can you talk about this over $90,000 that were just invested to uh, further enrich school breakfast programs in Texas, breaking language barriers? What does that mean? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that we're really proud of right now is that we have changed the way in which we provide our grant applications. Previously, we were just doing English grant applications, but now we're also providing Spanish uh, applications as well. Uh, you know, uh, our Latino population here in Texas is one of the fastest growing populations that we have. And so we wanna make sure that when we're supporting communities, we're not only providing a accessible English language application, but also a Spanish language one as well. Phenomenal. Now, before we go, is there anything that you want us to know about No Kid Hungry Texas? Want East Texas Now viewers uh, to know either about a specific program coming into the summer months or just about the program in general? 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, one of the things that we do, we also sponsor a texting hotline every summer. So if you are a family who uh, could really benefit from accessing these free summer meals for your kids, you can actually text food or comida to 304-304. Uh, it'll ask you for your address or your zip code. You can put that in and it'll spit back information of where there is a free summer meal site near you, including ours as well. Um, so if you do need that support, feel free to use that texting line. Phenomenal. Once again, Mia Medina, thank you so much for joining us here from No Kid Hungry Texas on the East Texas Now desk. Have a phenomenal afternoon. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, guys. From